What's up, guys? Welcome back. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful behind us. It does. Is that a green screen? No, that is a... Uh, prove it. Jump out the window. No, no, no. Uh, no. Yeah, that's... I don't know if that would prove it. We're 32 it. floors up, and these are like floor and a half. You didn't bring your parachute to work today. Because they're tall ceilings. You didn't bring your parachute to work today? I didn't bring my parachute. You well, that's 32 a, floors, it's a Friday parachute's thing. not going to work, man. This is like a special No, parachute. it has to be the one where it attaches, and it's like the squirrel thing where you glide. Okay. Yeah. You just don't hit any buildings? I've done it before, yeah. Yeah. You want to like go this slow? Parachutes get really dangerous because they have to. Yes, get it's in time. no. Yeah. yeah, that would be a bad like a glider. Yeah, is yeah what I'm glider is what you want to um, do. And you want to try to aim for an avenue so you don't run into a building. But yep. then once you get closer to the ground, you start to worry about cars. Yep. And that's when you have to try to aim for a sidewalk, but then avoid people. There's it's a lot of tricky. people in New York. Yeah, so that would be actually. It's a little di generally. There's actually a park that's about two blocks that way. Uh, the big one. It's in the middle of Manhattan. It's, it's uh, more than two blocks. Central Park? Yeah, it's over there somewhere. <laughs> you, you glide there, and that's where you try to land, and you find a big amount I of... Wonder, anyway... Could you yeah. make it to Central Park in a glider? We need to find out. Maybe it's we need it's to it's go up It's about a few, mile away. I think we might have to go up a floor. Yeah. Might Maybe to, to the floor. top of the building? Would they Just get in the roof? That'd be scary. Man. 48 foot, yeah. It's probably windy up there. Well, if it's not windy, your glider's not going to work. That's true. It only holds you up by yeah. wind. <laughs> well, I don't want to... Yeah, okay. I'll let you do that, and I'll record it, and we'll make some content about yep. it. And we'll get MLG to pay for the glider. All right. But you'll have to sign something that if you die, I'm not responsible. Even though I made the suggestion. <laughs> is that cool? Okay. <laughs> I don't know about this. This is. Uh, by the way, guys, welcome back. You're watching the IEM, uh, our coverage of the IEM US Champions Cup that's happening yep. today. I don't know how late it's going to go, but we're going to be here and it's going to be awesome. Uh, Nick is playing in it right now, so we're kind of following him. We're having fun with it. And tomorrow and the next day will be more qualifiers. Basically, we're trying to find out which four players are going to qualify for New York City. One is going to qualify today, and we have a lot of American heroes playing today. Uh, Huck, Suppy, Axlav, um, you know, the Muslim, Pult, so on and so forth. A lot of great players. Only one can advance today. However, all of them will probably play either the next day or the next day. What happened to our screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y y yeah, U.S. Champion Cup. Um, that's basically, the, you yep. know, sta saying what's happened. Today is going to be U.S. Champion Cup. Tomorrow's going to be Stage 1. Next day, Stage 2. So all weekend, we have awesome stuff going on here on the MLG stream. Twitch.tv slash MLG So make sure that, you, you know, some people, if you have Chrome, they let you save um, addresses on the in the bar up top. So when you, lo when you log into your browser, you can, you can click on it, right? And it'll take you there. Like, uh, I don't know what they call it, like a, a toolbar or a bookmark, something like that. You need to bookmark twitch.tv slash MLGSC2 just this weekend. At the end of the weekend, just do, you can unbookmark it. That's fine. But right now, that's what you need to go do because this weekend, that's your source for Awesome StarCraft 2 all weekend. All weekend. I'm not kidding. Nice. Like, anytime you tune in, there will be Awesome StarCraft 2. And there's an awesome, you know, sunset stuff behind us, which is really cool. So, I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay. Uh, bad news first. Bad news No, wait, first. good news. Okay, bad news. Bad news. Sorry, I, I've got two I'm bad news. Out. Yeah. So, so bad news number one: the guy I'm playing next uh, just beat Xenocider. Whoa! And he's a grandmaster with random. He's playing Zerganus tournament, but he's grandmaster level with random. Okay. He's like one of the like ranked 90 that's GMs the bad news? random. That's the bad That's okay. one of the bad news. Oh, there's two bad news. Good news is one: it's the best of three. We're on to the best of three stage in a tournament. Ah. Oh. oh, true. Okay. Bad news. Yeah. Because it's the best of three, I only get two map vetoes, and like half the maps in a pool I've never played. Or I've only played once in matter. Ah, like you're fine. Yeah. And you're Protoss. Like yep. Protoss is The map like doesn't really matter, just... Not really. But I was looking at some of these maps, so like, um... For, okay, he's ready to do vetoes. I already vetoed Derek Watch in my first map, and we have one more veto. I'm thinking of vetoing Polar Knight. We need more water. I, um, think, I think I need to veto Polar Knight. I'm vetoing Polar Knight. Okay. Good decision. I think it'd be cold oh, there. Oh, he's videoing Frost. So videoing all the cold maps. It's a good so idea. So it's going to be Yansu, Whirlwind, and Belshir Vestige. Those are all solid. I, I don't know much about Yansu. Um, eh. That's the only problem, but that's fine. Eh. Yansu, Belshir, and Whirlwind are the three maps. See, I don't really. Uh, to me, the map order doesn't matter too much. Sometimes people have a certain. So, so these are the three maps that you know, on a best of three, that will likely yep. be played. Okay. Oh, he's picking Yansu. All right, so I should. I played this map in ladder three three games ago, and that was the first time I played it. But that's kind of all it takes. Too late. Too late. Are you nervous? I'm a game hosting ninja. Nick, how nervous are you? 
Um, not too nervous. What's the worst that happens? I lose. I mean, like, if I lose, then we get to watch Pulp. There's a lot of people watching, and yep. they're like, you know what? I want to learn StarCraft, and I want to be inspired. And they're saying, Nicholas Axlav Ranish, inspire me and beat Guitar Hero Cheese. Guitar Cheese. Yep. Well, that's my goal. But see, he's level 90. I'm level 42. And he's got the Super Grandmaster Gold. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button. How do I exit this thing? Oh, God. Nick, ah, your probes. Ah! I hit something on the monitor. And the and funny I'm thing is, the stream can't see. Okay. There we go. Oh, they can't, huh? No, the stream can't <laughs> see that. Uh, that was funny. All right, so uh, this map, I played it earlier in Natter. You got the expansion here. You got a little rock back door to a, a potential third base that's not too hard to defend. Um, other options. Uh, you've got a nice third here. On Actually, this looks like not too bad of a map. A lot of small ramps, so pretty easy to take a third. Oh, there's a back door in here. Ooh. I bet this is like DJ Wheat's favorite map, man. So I'm assuming this is two player. Yeah, he's right here. Hey, how come he gets the grassland and I get the dusty land? Um That doesn't that's I think not it's fair. isn't it easier to dig holes in in, in dusty Yes, land. but but Prodos are like I mean, you've seen all the sorts of digging your predator, right? Maybe. Alright. Prodots are like the predators in that movie. Okay. They need like jungle and, and forest and stuff, they can camo in super uh. easy. Ah. Like Dark Templar, Dark he, Templar works better. He's Zerg, you said. Yeah, I feel like it'd be it'd be uh, it's a little bit more difficult to spread creep over grass versus desert barren. You know what? Actually, that's do you a good think point. so? Because you have to deal with well, all the. You don't things live in the grass? I mean, there's a reason there's grass there. But is that it, it makes it? You're right. It's like it's not a flat surface easier. Right. To, but there's organic material there. Oh, so that'll help supplement the creep and actually yeah, arguably it'll like make feed it spread the creep, faster. Right? right? Maybe does the creep eat the grass? And you then know what, you're right. So I think you should build a nexus on the grass. Okay. To make up for, I'm thinking bottom right, and you know you can transfer your probes there by recalling with your mother's core. You know what? Actually, that'd be the sickest. And is that rocks a rocks protecting it too. That's a full rock. Yeah, man, ball. that is begging to be taken. All right. Dude, it's he already expanded. By the way. Yeah. He's Zerg. Oh, he's Zerg. Okay. <laughs> like I thought he was Protoss. Even no. though I said he was Zerg about two minutes yeah. ago. That's okay. I need to drink more water. You do need to drink more water. Uh, more water always helped. See, you know what? This is a trick tip. You see how I saved my probe from dying without even moving my screen? Pro tip number one, always hockey your scout. Yeah. So you, you can be macroing, nice. doing your thing, and then boom, you just you control them, you just select your hockey and you move them back, right? Um, I mean, obviously, you can, if there's nothing else going on, why not jump to the screen? But you got to give yourself those options, right? Yep, and by the way, for those of you just now joining in on the stream, you're watching... The U.S. Champions Cup, this is round three action, a best of three between Axlab and Guitar Cheese. There's a little bit of a twist going on. Cause so, by the way, people don't know who, who Guitar Cheese is, so why don't He's you a guy. Okay, so Guitar Cheese... <laughs> I like how Nick is making sure I mention that. Um, Guitar Cheese is a Grand Masters random player. Yep. So he's really good. So and who did you... So Guitar Cheese should win this game. He just beat Xenocider. Yep, he just beat Xenocider. So, so this Wait, is did you say he should win this game? He should. Like, on paper, he'd probably be the overdog. Is that what they call it? Uh, sometimes they call it the favorite, but okay. I, I kind of like overdog better. Dude, overdog makes much more sense. Yeah. Like, because you have underdog, you have overdog. Like, come on. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, that's good for you. It's it's less expectation. You're right. Right? And so. it's the best of three, so this is like my, my feeling them out game. Right? Don't, don't, doesn't everyone get one of those? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone gets a warm up. But you, you were warming up before the. Uh, I was. I was. I think it's fine, though, because it's a new opponent. You want to see what's yep. up? Cool. You I know see. what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a shuttle. A war prism, I mean. Sorry, I'm still thinking Brood War. I'm going to take this base. He's never going to see it coming. It's going to be freaking pro move 101 right here. Are you going to do some pressure? Uh oh. Here he comes. Watch out. Oh, you let him by. That's all right. All right, will that Zergling get a probe kill? That's a good question. He shouldn't. He'd be a ninja Zergling if he could. Yeah, I'd be embarrassed, actually, if that happened. He'd be, he'd be like that card in Hearthstone that kills an assassinate? Yep. Is that what it is? That's, uh, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. Assassinate a probe. All right. Cool, you killed the Zergling. Great job. You got a wall off up. Well, and it works. Uh oh, is Sorry, that a full I'm wall? gonna figure out. I don't want a full wall. There we go. There we go. 
Sometimes you just want to like. Well, what you do is you fall on, and then you take the ninja expo, and then he thinks you're never going to leave two bases, and then he's freaking out about a two base all in, and then you have a third, and it's like. You know what? Why don't you tell me this before, man? Ah, that's okay. Huh. This is interesting. Maybe. Maybe we shouldn't even really pressure him because. We're just gonna go and scout him. My heart is beating. I'm nervous for you, Nick. You should be. Can you become the U.S. A bit, right, or the U.S. champion. I don't want to distract you. So don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Are there rules against helping? I wonder, because I don't want to give you any tips. Oh, that's and I, true. And I don't think I'm going to anyway. But like, I'm worried about breaking any rules as far as. You know what? Secondary assistance or whatever. That's a good. That's a good point. Someone should uh, should ask Farsight so or that's something. That's why I'm. That's why I'm kind of hesitating in providing yep. too much commentary because I don't want to uh, ruin the integrity of the tournament. It, it's a fine tournament. Boom Jin in the chat asks, asks Axel Toss, is this a rebroadcast? Yes. Did did that an did me answering that did me asking that question answer that question? I wonder. No, this is a rebroadcast. We we've got a new technology, man. New technology. Yep. <laughs> it, it allows us. Dude, so I'm trying to figure out how this guy beats. So okay. we know who's gonna chat ahead of time. Yep. Okay. See, in my mind, this is like Inception. I, my mind is. We should make a movie based on this concept. I think. You think so? I call rights, by the way. Anyone in the chat who's looking for? I already called them. I called the rights. Where we have a rebroadcast, where we're rebroadcasting, but we're not really rebroadcasting. Yeah. And then. All right. So I'm gonna try to kill this before the mutas get up. The whole movie is. You think I can do that? Yes, I think you can. The whole movie is, is it a rebroadcast or isn't it? Does anyone actually exist? And then at the end, everyone dies. I like it. Did I just spoil? Uh, no, nah, you're fine. Okay, we're good. You're fine. It's coming it's coming soon. Theaters everywhere. It's going to be amazing. All right. All right, Nick. Where's my here we go? How you doing, Nick? Pult is awesome asking, is this live? No, it's not live. Wow. Watch out, giving us news that Suppy fell out of the tournament. Or fell out of the upper bracket. Defeated by Amandil. I, sh I probably shouldn't do too much. I want to just kill as much creep as I can. And of course, I'm worried about the mutas, but... I should be okay. And this is this is gonna be I don't even need it in his expo, but why not, right? How'd you get that probe there? Oh shit. Oh no, mothership core. Mutas are scary, man. Yeah, I'll be alright. Yeah, you got Phoenixes on the way. And he should know about this transition. Well now he knows yeah. for sure. I mean, he's he's over to your side earlier. Is he actually? Ah, I probably should not have had that earlier. All right. So what I want to do is I want to just keep an observer over there. I want to get a couple more observers. Did you remake your your mothership core? I did not. Ooh, um, that I guess I'm helping. I shouldn't be helping. You shouldn't be helping. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah, that was. I, I was curious because there's a strategy that I yep. he I've heard rumors yep. about. I I know exactly what you're talking about. All right. Look at that focus fire. Oh, oh look at those mutas. goodbye, Muta. See, goodbye, they're kind of lurking toward that expansion down there. Yeah, but they don't know about it. Oh, they're making me nervous. There's, oh, I think they found it. No, cancel. Oh man, sorry I gave that suggestion. Nick. You yeah. can burn that one on me. It's all good. It's all good. It was it was it was a worthwhile attempt. All right. Ah. I, lo I forgot, because I, I was actually doing fine on supply, but I lost two pylons there. And now he's making six. Yep. Well, that's what you do. Happens to the best of us. What about the like the not best of us, like me? Happens to them, too. Happens to everyone. Happens to everyone. Um, Foxhound asking, what are we watching? You are watching the U.S. Champions Cup. Uh, Nick is actually playing in the tournament, and he's in round three. Playing against Grandmaster Guitar Cheese. Yep. And I'm 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 hesitating of 
saying too much because I didn't want to, uh, you know, to ruin the integrity of, of the tournament. But everything looks fine right now. Thank you for joining us, guys. Free coffee in the chat presented by Regio. He's the proud sponsor of coffee for of free coffee. in the Twitch chat. I like, I like this our, theory. He's our coffee sponsor. Let's kill so. some Zergians, right? Thanks to him. How fast can you click? Well, don't. No. Oh, yeah. I mean, my lifts aren't too useful. Yeah. Why not? So I wonder where he's going to next. So what's your plan here? Um, just kind of harass a bit. Uh, I want to know what he's doing, actually. Alright, we're going to come in here and kill some of these guys. And what I want to do is I want to keep going on the attack upgrades aggressively. Right. Uh, once you get enough Phoenix, it doesn't really matter if he has Corruptors because you kind of just kill everything. And people voted on... Shoot, I shouldn't pick. Oh people no! People voted on Mass Phoenix earlier, so I figured I'd make him happy by doing it now. Um, we'll see, though. I don't think this is going to go well for him. He's just massing Corruptors. Yep. How are your results doing? They they're chopping doing up fine. things? Yeah, doing fine. Nice. Nice little hold there, Nick. You, uh, he did uh, uh, cancel your Nexus there, which yep. is a, a little bit unfortunate. That's alright, though. So we're going to back up now. I do want to go for some Dark Templar and Archons and stuff. and. Get charge. A lot of I, I shouldn't have gone for four. I thought I had three bases. I should have just gone. I mean, if I didn't, if I knew my third was gonna be canceled, I should have just canceled those as well. But yeah. Oof, still making those corruptors and, and mutas. I was slow on canceling my lifts there. Every phoenix is important. No, no. That's all right. I only Oops. lost like he's losing a lot of mutas here. As long as he, like, the thing is, is he's winning, but as long as he keeps going mutas, I'll win. Just because, um, that's just the way kind of mutas work. Is they're not long-term Zerg solutions if I can never actually get, get a good it. amount of... Yeah, I mean, the hard part is I'm so far behind. Ooh, this is dangerous. Oh, shoot. I just got overrun there. Uh -oh. uh, my zealots weren't in position there. That's the game. Oh, no. That was just a lot of poor macro and, uh, and positioning to deal with this harass. A lot of it is I should have been making walls on this map. I'm not... Yeah, SimCity, so yeah. The, the Ling run buys are a little yep. bit easier to handle and yep. manage. Exactly. But uh, it's all right because we got maps that I've played before coming up next. Good. So do you and think... Judging from his play, like he's obviously a lot more talented than me in macro and micro, but anyone like mid masters is more talented than me in the game. Uh, but I could tell there was a, I think there was a lot of things off of the strategy. He built a lot of unnecessary early spine cores because he wasn't confident in his scouting. Right. Uh, he didn't react to phoenixes except by trying to keep going air, which only worked because he was able to just out macro me so well. Yeah. Um, he, those lean, lean run buys yeah. worked out really well. Like when he canceled that third, I he thought canceled that was it a like big twice moment. or three. Yeah, because you try to make that. one in the bottom right, and yep. then you try to make it like twice. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back with more games here from the U.S. Champions Cup. Of course, a tournament revolving around the United States scene and the North American scene as the weekend goes along. Right now, we're watching Nick as he progresses through the tournament. He's currently down 0-1 against the Qatar Cheese in winners bracket round three. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more games in just a bit. 